All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports, no argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Laguna Hills, California, presenting the challenger, the professional. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 211 pounds. Fighting out of New York, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron. All right, this is for the UFC championship. I want you to bring my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Go on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to corners, my fight. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. A good right hand right there. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. 
Nice job by the opponent, defending the take now, but now he is going to have to mix it up again. The first shot will not work. He's got to go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him, to give him too much to process to try to get the fight to the ground. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. From the moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Clipped him with the right hand there. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. It's a nice kick. There it is, there it is. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Three minutes now to go in this one. Great punch. Huge block there. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, and he lands yet another uppercut. So those strikes have come in bunches tonight, really starting to find some consistency. He's finding consistency because he knows that that is a strike that he can find at any time. He's so confident in finding that uppercut that it's landing over and over again. Beautiful punch. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Left hand punch from the clinch. Oh, huge block! Try to establish that jab. Straight right hand on the counter is good. Head off the center line, slips the punch. All right, so he's landed a few semi uppercuts already, DC. You gotta think he goes back to it. I am almost certain he's gonna go and try to find another one of those. But expect him to really sit down and try to make one really count and try to end this fight. Single collar tie now. Huge knees here. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time, this guy's making sure nothing lands. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Do you believe it? Another head kick lands. Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of it. He's got to start raising the guard and guiding that head kick down back towards your feet. You cannot take him clean and you cannot take him on one arm. Big left hook coming. It's one. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Just misses there with the left. All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led to him really taking control of the fight. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. All right, DC, second round is getting yeah, underway. Round, round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even, that's what we saw. And 
he landed the right hand there. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Good stick. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Punch. Strong left there. That punch no good. Oh, big head kick. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with meaning. And they separate. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice counter left there. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy. That's a good team. He does a great job of holding his head side to side. And really mixed up the motion at which he moves. Good punch lands. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. How good is that right hand? Just a slip there. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Big, straight left. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Takedown defense holds up. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Oh, that's a nice strike. Punch is blocked. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, beautifully. All right, so a near-perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, was able to get him down. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Back to the feet now. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head 
keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Nice punch, man. Nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage in reach. And they separate. Man, how good is his right hook counter? Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Strong defense there to block the shot. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt. Making all these shots count. the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, how about the speed on that? Oh, good entry there to take the fight to the grappling realm. Now we'll see what he can do from here, champ. This is exactly where he wants to be. Look for him to try to use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. Looks a little wobbly on his feet. He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Whoa! He's out! It's over! It's over! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliotta has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, one second of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Ireland. So the celebration is on and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue that tonight is the crowning achievement of his mixed martial arts career. Knocks out the number one contender with style points to retain his heavyweight title. Congratulations to champion, coach.